Hello everyone and welcome back to Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XRP, but before I get started, I want to let you all know in advance that the next two days I'm going to slow down a little bit. I got a lot of work to catch up on. So the SEC read this tweet in court yesterday. We stand by it 100%. This is coming from LBRY. We have not met a single honest or fair actor in the SEC. We have met numerous liars and psychopaths. Hide absolutely everything you can from them legally and never cooperate or talk to the SEC. I believe that was the mistake Ripple made. They went in and talked to the SEC. They were fully transparent and ended up in a lawsuit. Sam Bankman Freed got a free pass. Ethereum got a free pass. I believe the SEC is corrupt as hell, and I believe Gary is working way above his authority. SEC settles on security claim in LBRY case. Community calls it a big win for crypto. Now, this was all the talk today on crypto Twitter. The SEC was hoping to seek affirmation on an ambiguous injunction after scoring a victory during a hearing in November of 2022. But judges made it clear that the judgment was only for the direct sale. The United States Security and Exchange Commission admitted on record that the sale of LBRY credits, LBC tokens, in the secondary market doesn't constitute a security. The settlement came during an appeal hearing in the LBRY versus SEC case on January 30th. Now, Johnny Deaton went more in depth on this. He said, the judge said that the SEC needs to commit to something and describe two examples. The judge explained one example in which LBRY sold its LBC token to an investment club that held it in cold storage, a direct sale. The judge said that he considers this to be an offering of an unregistered security, and the SEC agreed. The second example he gave was of the secondary market Deaton reported. And then the judge said, but if Flipside sells it to someone else on the secondary market, independent of LBRY, you have to agree that my order does not apply to this scenario. And that's the victory that we got. The SEC had to concede it on the record in real time. Remarkably, the judge then turned to Deaton afterward and told him, Amicus, I'm going to make it clear that my order does not apply to the secondary market sales. That's huge. This is why the victory is crucial for Ripple and XRP. So this hearing today, if you think we are getting regulations by Congress soon, then the ruling is irrelevant because Congress will give us clarity. If we're not going to get any clarity from Congress, there's not going to be some regulation that says something that defines a security then this hearing was extremely important. Now, I feel Ripple is going to win this lawsuit. I think the judge sees through the corruption at the SEC. But I also see how Brad is trying to get Congress to step in, rein in the SEC, you know, maybe get rid of this case already, give clarity already. And that's what every XRP holder is looking for for XRP is that regulatory clarity. That's going to set new all-time highs for this token. Another Ripple partner. So Ripple partner joins forces with Visa to conquer billion-dollar markets of Thailand. Ripple partner D-Money joins forces with Visa for global payments in Thailand. Navadi-owned International Bank of Australia gets approval to launch payment solution in Australia. Now, while we're being held back here by the SEC as far as innovation inside of the U.S., the rest of the world just keep pushing forward with innovation. And a lot of that innovation is directly tied to Ripple. If it's not Ripple directly, it's through a partner of Ripple. The whole system is literally coming together piece by piece. Ripple records $226 million in net ODL XRP sales in quarter four. Ripple bought back more XRP in quarter four than in quarter three, leading to reduced XRP sales net of purchases. Now, that's how a lot of people see us see XRP being scarce in the future, because if Ripple's buying, buying it back now, at some point, maybe there's going to be a massive demand for XRP. 
And like I said, I feel ODL is where all the value is as far as XRP. It's going to pay off world debt. Every country is going to need it to fight the coming liquidity crisis. IDFC First Bank has partnered with ToneTag, a global proximity and voice tech solution provider, to enable acceptance of digital rupee at merchant outlets. This follows a pilot launch of CBDC for retail users by the Reserve Bank of India, RBI. And again, it's country after country getting ready right now. And I talk to people outside of crypto and I keep trying to get them to come in and buy some XRP. I'm like, just buy some of it. Hold it. It's so cheap right now. Throw a hundred dollars in. What do you have to lose? Because I see how everything is coming together. That massive network is still forming every single day. European Central Bank has former Ripple employee also worked with U.S. Fed on digital assets, CBDCs, stablecoins, and Fed Now services. And yet people still don't understand what's coming. I see Bitcoin maxis all over crypto Twitter pushing Bitcoin on a daily basis, trying to give it some sort of use case, which it really has none in the future. The future is all about the new financial system as far as crypto. And Bitcoin is not going to be part of it. But if Bitcoin maxis keep shilling Bitcoin to retail investors, there's going to be people stuck in Bitcoin forever at some point. I can't stress that enough because there's retail investors that probably bought at 30, 40K, most likely even 50 to 60K. Then it hit 69,000 and came back down. I still believe it has one massive run up in it. If you get to profit and you hold Bitcoin, you're going to want to get out and get into utility as soon as possible. Because I believe in the future, only utility-driven cryptocurrencies are going to have value. Fantastic work from Team Ripple. You can now test out DeFi with fast and zero-cost fees. We're expanding our IOU services on XRP Ledger. You can now use Euro-backed IOUs as your gateway to XRP Ledger. Dip your toes into DeFi with cost-effective and fast transfers, increased transparency, and zero transfer fees on all IOU transfers. This is coming from Bitstamp. And I'm telling you, the XRP ledger is absolutely going to explode this year. Then we see this. What does 2023 have in store for CBDCs, NFTs, crypto, and beyond? A focus on real-world applications, global CBDC pilot programs, NFTs that solve for efficiency and transparency and ownership. And yet, people still don't see what's about to happen. To achieve any vision, a company must have a customer-obsessed culture, a long-term focus, the courage to accept failure, and the willingness to double down when it sees customers' delight. Ultimately, the entire Ripple team is optimistic that Crypto Winter will give rise to a Crypto Spring that 2022 will prove, prove to have been a crucible year with the industry emerging stronger and more focused on real-world utility because of it. That's why the narrative is changing inside of crypto. Everybody now talks about use case, utility. They see value in these cryptocurrencies. Like I always tell you, we're not investing in a cryptocurrency. We're investing in the technology of the future. U.S. is behind and will stay behind until the entire political hacks are replaced, but this is irrelevant as the world is far larger than the U.S. Ripple loss would only enforce emotional weak holders to panic sell. In the long term, the rest of the world will adopt XRP Ledger, XRP, and XLM. And Johnny Dean, like he said, we're years away from regulations. And yet we hear these politicians like Elizabeth Warren saying we need regulations right now but yet nothing happens i still believe that the world economic forum is going to push global crypto regulations at some point because these leaders in all of these countries that are tearing every single country apart right now are all tied to the world economic forum so either the u.s will come out with something first or i'm sure they'll be handed down globally at some point but like I said, I still believe we are going to get very rich before a CBDC comes.
I believe they're going to regulate stable coins first. Then they're going to start looking at cryptocurrencies next. Ripple board member offers XRP as shareholder benefit. Will more crypto companies follow Ripple? Now this is from SBI Group and a member of the Ripple board is still optimistic about the potential of XRP. I want to go work for them so I can get XRP as a shareholder benefit. But do you see how other countries see the value in XRP? It shows you where XRP is headed in the future. Because they all have the same vision we have. They see the value. They see the real world use case. And they see the price of it in the future. It's going to be high valued. Banks act as nodes in the, XR, in the Ripple system. Sorry, Ripple intends to use XRP as a bridge currency to make transactions cheaper and faster and to use XRP tokens as its core pillar for settlement fund transfers. Currently, Ripple provides access software for different banks, access to the Ripple network, and performs current transmission. Different banks do not need to adopt a unified accounting system. The main to maintain the original accounting system sorry banks act as a node in the ripple network system and use cryptographic algorithms for verifications and you're going to see banks coming on board so fast with ripple even here in the u.s if ripple wins that lawsuit right now bank of america i know is going to go live tomorrow with odl I feel the U.S. banks are in trouble right now. They're just not out there admitting it yet. And they're going to need that ODL very soon, in my opinion. Because everything is pushing in that direction. As politicians and world leaders are tearing the world apart, and the financial system that we use right now is collapsing out, XRP is going to be the most important cryptocurrency in the entire world. Because every single country is going to need it all at once for that massive liquidity problem that's about to come. With that said, I'm going to wrap up today's video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you watching my videos. Sorry I messed up a few times in this one. It's been a long day. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.